is to demolish everybody, to be honest. Everybody that's in my way. Uh, the pinnacle to any weight division is to have all of the all of the belts, all of the titles. Welcome to Body Work. Welcome back. It's Michael Rogers. Welcome to Body Work Boxing. Man, it's getting real out here, man. I told you that 140 is the road. You know, I, I said it's the road, man. There, there's very few soft touches in the words of Antonio Tarva. You know, um, when it comes to the 140 division, Lately, I've been on a campaign to try to get uh, my man Sabril Matias some of that good smoke. You know, I've been doing my homework and my research, and there's another boogeyman out here. So this would be a true battle of the boogeyman. But before I get over to Gary Antoine, man, look, the uh, <clears throat> this guy, this killer from Puerto Rico is tearing uh headlines away right now he's on a tear uh, making a name i think his nickname is el or gulo de materno the pride of motherhood very interesting man very interesting name you know a lot of people take pride in i'm starting to get a lot of uh sabril matias fans coming to the page and you know sharing information about what's going on and just expressing themselves about their favorite fighter well, he came out, he did a worldwide call out, man, and um, the reaction was kind of surprising. Well, not really, knowing how Sabri Sabriel Matias is fighting, what he's capable of doing, man. It's not really, it's not really surprising. I'm just surprised at how a lot of these guys kind of got quiet. You know, um, first, one of the guys that didn't get quiet was T.O. T.O. actually, you know, reached out. You know, at the time, I guess Sabril was having a hand injury. Um, I've heard somebody actually told me, one of um, his fans actually told me that the man can actually start training next month. You know, might want to do your homework on that, see if that, that is true. And um, potentially the, in what, the Puerto Rican Day Parade might be an option, you know, um, a little bit later, a couple in a couple months, which is right around the corner for real, for real. And boxing time is these boxing uh, cards come week after week. That'll be here in no time. So I think we're going to get to T.O. So T.O., you know, he wasn't ducking. I would say I would cross him off the list, right? We know Roley's not going to um, get in the ring with Sabril Matias. I'm pretty sure of it, but uh, Roley also has Ishmael Barroso problem. I do believe that Ishmael Barroso would get in the ring with Matias. You know, it's, you got to see what happens um, since he just won that um that title uh when he stopped o'hara davies in the first round you know um and, and made a statement like that so gotta see what's going on with barroso and roley then that leads me to the other champion um we got devin haney devin haney has been missing and i'm getting kind of concerned because ever since we heard Sabriel Matias say that he was a chicken. Was he being prophetic? I keep asking that question, but um, hadn't heard from him, man. I'm getting kind of concerned for real, for real, because um, normally we hear from Devin. We hear from Bill, we hear from Devin, you know, and um, this is highly unlike them. So if you seen Devin Haney, you know, um, I would ask that you give somebody a call, let them know that he's safe, that he's okay. You know, um, maybe even a proof of life. You know what I'm saying? Because we've never heard Devin Haney get this quiet after a call out, right? And then um, as I'm looking at it, I'm looking at it, I'm saying, um, hmm, Richardson Hitchens just made a move. Him and Catterall just made a move to get out of line for the eliminator. So it's starting to become slim picking. So by those actions, that's saying that at least for right now, they're not trying to stand in line for that smoke. So I'm just, I'm rattling my brain and I'm thinking, okay, who, who, who? And Gary Antoine Russell comes to mind. I call him the butcher. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I think that if you know anything about butcher, man, everybody thinks it's just brutal and you see the cuts and all that, but you actually have to have some skills. You gotta know the cuts of meats and all that. 
And when I think about Gary Antoine Russell, man, I think about the fact that the young man is very wise, very, you know, he speaks very good. He can communicate, you know, he's straightforward. He don't, he don't flim flam and, and, and send you around the Marbury bush. You know what I'm saying? He might let you ask him something stupid. He won't let you know, you know what I'm saying? In, in a roundabout way that you're asking the stupid question. You know what I'm saying? He's just a straightforward, no nonsense kind of guy. You know, he comes from um, an Olympic pedigree. You know, um, when it came down to him and Boots and the amateurs, he had the favorable numbers in those matchups. And he's been sharing the ring with a lot of people. You know what I'm saying? Along with his brother, the success of his brothers and what his father was able to amass, RP. Um, for that family, man, it means a lot. And you can tell that Gary Antoine Russell was must-see TV. So him and Sabrina Matias is definitely must-see TV. And I was analyzing this fight, I said, because they're two boogeymen. Now, when I look at the matchup, it's actually saying that um, just like Boots Ennis, even though I think Boots might be 5'11 now, but it's actually listing Gary Antoine and Boots. It's listing them at 5'10". Sabrina Matias at 5'9". It's giving um, Gary Antoine Russell a 69-inch arm reach, and Sabrina Matias have a 71-inch arm reach. So you got a 1-inch height advantage for Gary Antoine, and you got a 2-inch reach advantage for Sabrina Matias. And I start looking at it, it's like because these guys, they're not hard to find. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of people, whenever this fight comes up, they say that this fight won't go the distance. You know what I'm saying? And rightfully so, because my man Gary Antoine Russell is 17 and 0 with 17 stoppages. Shared the ring with Victor Postal, Rancis Bartolome, um, uh, Giovanni Santiago. After Giovanni Santiago arguably, you know, really kind of boxed uh, Adrian Broner's ears off, Gary Antoine Russell went in there and did tremendous damage, you know what I'm saying? I mean, he went in there and just tore the show down and then Santiago moves up and Mario Barrios go ahead and do the same. So we'll, we, we'll have to wait and see if Santiago is suffering some of the effects of actually being in a ring with Gary Antoine Russell. He's a no-nonsense guy inside the ring. He has some of the best lateral movement to where, I call it penitentiary, you know what I'm saying? Where he's gonna put that pressure on you and if you don't have anything to get him up off of you, He's not gonna let you breathe. He like he will he will suffocate you. He's a relentless body puncher. You know what I'm saying? He has more than uh he can put you out of there. He can get you out of there. One punch, knockout power. He can get you out of there if he wants. And I think that um it's only a matter of time, man, before his name is up in lights. Now, hardcores, you know, use his name all the time. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people just say they want him to be active. He was very active, you know what I'm saying? I know he lost his pops not too long ago, and the family are, are galvanizing everything and trying to get everything right, you know? Um, it's a couple question marks as to who they're with and what's going on. I'm trying not to be nosy. I just, I got my certain boxes that I like to keep tabs on, man, and um, sometimes you can't really get the information. So I've been scavenging around, trying to look and see more information, but I think that this matchup is very good. And I was saying, okay, what would make this matchup so compelling? So I started to look. I said, well, hmm, how would Sabriel Matias do against a Southpaw? And to my surprise, he has 21 fights with 20 knockouts, right? A certified hitman, just like Gary Antoine Russell. But to my surprise, Sabriel Matias has fought at least eight Southpaws. At least eight Southpaws. Same result. Some of them have been very early. Now, Gary Antoine can get you out of there in the first, second, third. I see a lot of six rounds. But by the end of the show, they both going to get you out of there. You know what I'm saying? With Sabriel Matias suffering that one loss that he came back and avenged by knockout. You know, I think that this is must-see TV. I think that, man, you got to have your popcorn ready. And I don't know if it's a matter of the timing and letting them two get you know, you know, growing to their own. I think Sabriel already came into his own as far as having a belt and being a certified boogeyman. I think that Gary Antoine Russell actually showed that he was already a certified uh, boogeyman because when Devin Haney was at 135, calling out his older brother who was fighting at 126, getting all in him and Buzz business, when he actually got pickpocketed by Mark Marcello and actually came up short on the scorecards, even though he won that fight, Devin had a lot to say. And Gary Antoine was like, okay, well, cool. When you get to 140, holler at me. Haven't heard Devin Haney say his name since. We got Richard Hitchin bowing out. T.O., he's busy. Super Bowl weekend with Jermaine Ortiz. 
You do have Honorable Bosa. We got to see what he's doing. I think he's barking up the T.O. route or trying to get something going on with Roley. Don't think Roley won any. You know what I'm saying? He said Ryan was. You know what he said Ryan was. You know what I'm saying? But um, Ryan is developing. I think Ryan is for the big, big, big money, big names. You know, um, he turned, I guess he got out of negotiation with Devin Haney. He's pursuing a Roley. What do you think about this fight, man? I think that this is must-see TV, man. This is the kind of fight, man, that can actually put an injection back in boxing and give everybody something to talk about. You know what I'm saying? But um, I, this is a true 50-50 fight. You know what I'm saying? For me. Um, and I think that um, I, when I say IQ, man, both of them have very high IQ. A lot of people think that what Sabrina Matia is doing is just coming forward and just doing like, no, it's much like Benavidez where his punch variety and placement is uh calculated you know it's a science to how he punch you know what i'm saying um he does go to the body um sometimes he is a little uh unorthodox in the way that he actually delivers his punches but it's a method to his madness and so far every time he's gotten his hand raised it's been by a stoppage or a knockout you know what i'm saying i love to get your comment man thanks for all the new subscribers and the growth man shout out to puerto rico shout out to capitol heights maryland where the Russell, Gary Russell from, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and here in Maryland, you know, I got to rock with my, my my own kind. But these are two of my guys, man. Up and coming, must see TV. Let me know your thoughts. Make sure you update your notification and feel free to chime in. You know what I'm saying? I don't I don't need yes, man. You know what I'm saying? This is the alternative to opinion-based content. You know what I'm saying? We, uh, we pride ourselves on being thought-provoking and being responsible when we have this boxing talk. You heard. Anyways, thanks for tuning in here with Body Work Boxing. Well, we don't take things for face value. We do that body work.